Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Kevin and Mikkel. We are back with a new video. And for the first time in I don't know how many years, we are here to talk to you guys solely about loving hip hop. Oh my God, I'm just like really, really excited to talk about loving hip hop. If you're watching us for the first time, please make sure you click the subscribe button. To everyone watching, click the like button, leave a comment, share this video, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, or wherever you choose to share, even via text message if you're on your phone. Um, so this is season 10 of Love and Hip Hop. I'm talking about the regular Love and Hip Hop, where it all started, where it all originated in New York. And what made me, first of all, what made me want to watch is when I found out that Chrissy was coming back. I seen her doing the little rounds on TV, and I was like, okay. And then I heard um, Tahiri was coming back on the show, and I was like, okay, I want to see what she's going to try to do with her and Joe Button. And then I knew, I remembered that fight between Chrissy and Kimbella, but so much has changed since then. So I'm just like, Okay, like I, I really can't wait to see what they're doing. Because we knew Jim Jones and uh, what's her name, Chrissy, mm. they went to, you know, BTV, gave them a little check on that marriage boot camp shit. And I know they had their own show before and and she proposed and that, nothing never happened. But I, I was happy to see Chrissy back. So let's get into Love Hip Hop. So Chrissy's back. She talking about she was in Miami. And, you know, she came home and seen Jim Jones' room or house looking like my room. And <laughs> Jim Jones, when he let himself go, he let himself go. He let that house go. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Now, did I lie? Mm. <laughs> uh, mm. If y'all seen my room, you said it. Not me. I, well, hey, I'm keeping it real. And this is on a dead. <laughs> oh, it's like I walk into um. Yeah, I try to I try to just make sure it's enough of him to sit there. You know, when I saw Jim Jones' kitchen, I said, "Wow, that's Kevin's room." <laughs> <laughs> yes, so times ten because your room is ten times worse than that kitchen. Right. So so Chrissy's back. You know they doing they all little they little thing when they go back and forth. But you know I don't care to talk about all that lovey dovey stuff. I want to talk about the moment where it's time for Kimbella and Chrissy to get together and talk. So, you know, Chrissy's like, I'm going to talk to everybody, Who she right my wrongs. Yeah, and, falling out with Yeah. So, the first the first one on the plate, because we got a whole list of everybody that had their little issue. First one on the plate was Kimbella. So, she was like, listen, I didn't come here to be disrespectful, and I didn't come here to be disrespected. And, you know, I like that. And then they cut to commercial and got mad when they did that shit. But when they came back, you know, they they, they seemed to have a good conversation. Mm -hmm. Nobody was, you know, over talking. And Chrissy understood where Kimbella was coming from. But Chrissy still like, I don't care. Because you tried to tell her that. And when they played that video back, I still don't understand why Kimbella told Emily, me and your man used to date back in the day. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. it still don't make no sense. Yeah. Like you don't tell her that in front of everybody, but you still shouldn't get beat up. About well, it. I don't. It's not that I don't see why she told her that. I just don't think why she told her that there. Mm -hmm. That's something she should have told her in private. You right. know what I mean? Because I think that if uh, I don't really think that what she said was wrong. Because if we are going to be close or around each other, then you should know that me and your man dated. So that if it does come up, you don't think that I'm trying to be sneaky. Like, oh, bitch, you didn't even tell me that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But don't do that here. And I think that was the issue. But uh, I was looking back at it like, what did Chrissy have to do with that? <laughs> yeah, she was like, that, that, at that time, they was friends. And she was like, you don't, you just don't do stuff like that. Yeah, like, and it just had nothing to do with her. Yeah. At least, <laughs> I don't remember like yeah. I'm trying to think like first of all watching those clips of them fighting took me way back because I'm like wait I remember watching this episode when it yeah. first aired so like, I, I don't it's even been remember. this long like oh my I don't God. even remember what all the stuff that led up to if, I know we did a video talking about it. of course but sure. 10 years like that that's been a long mm -hmm. time right and this was and that wasn't even the first season because Kimbella came along but like Chrissy a, didn't stay not that long so I think she only stayed like two season. seasons yeah Cause Chrissy, I don't think stayed more than it. 
Chrissy either stayed two or three seasons. Mm -hmm. But I could have swore she said that the second season was her last season. But it was either two or three seasons. Because yeah, she didn't then, stay that long at, yeah, at all. because then they had their own little show. Mm -hmm. And then we ain't never seen them again on, right. on, on, on VH1. We haven't seen them for a while. But I couldn't even... You know, I just was, you know, I'm just glad that, you know, they, they had their little conversation. But it just seemed like everybody just, everybody who made up, they just made it seem like, oh, we just, after a couple months or a couple years, we just patch things over. And, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, some things just don't work like that. No, it don't. So, Remy was having her, um... Parole. Her parole, parole, parole party. party. I don't ever, I don't ever want to have a party like that. Me neither. But you know what? <laughs> Remy's a different type of person. Right. So we're going to let that go. Yeah. I don't, I don't ever want to have a party like that. So when I see I see the guy Jonathan. Now, I really don't watch Love and Hip Hop. But, you know, in my house, everybody watches it. So I remember Jonathan and him and some other girl. They had their issue. Don't don't get me start lying. But I'm just like, he's messy. Mm -hmm. He's very messy. Mm -hmm. And he is in the middle now. And we'll mm -hmm. get to him a little bit later. But, you know, they was all at the table. It was Jonathan, Chrissy, Yandy. And Kim Bella, so they all pull up to the uh, to the to the party, and Yandy got this look on her face. But I'm like, Yandy, you know, you you right to feel the way you feel, and Chrissy, you right to feel the way you feel. And then once I realized that they're not gonna, they they not patching things up at at this point, I'm like, yes, because I get to see some drama all season between Yandy and Chrissy. Mm -hmm. Will we get a fight? I don't know. No. Physical fight? Yeah, I no, don't know. They not but, physical but, fight. But going back and forth? No. Yandy and, forth. first of all, Yandy and Chrissy are grown women. women. Yeah. They going to argue. <laughs> they not a physical fight. No, Chrissy might try to get rah-rah, but Yandy ain't, I can't see Yandy doing that. Yandy's yeah. like, listen, I'll argue with you, mm -hmm. but we're not going to fight because I'm too, I'm too wrong to be fighting. Like, come on now. And, and what it's they was just, fighting, you know, what they arguing about, I understand Yandy's point, and I understand yeah. Chrissy's point. Yeah. But I don't think that Chrissy was his financial manager or something like that. You mean I, Yandy? Um, Yandy. I think, I, yeah, Yandy. I think she was trying to tell him some real stuff. Like, you know, yeah. but some things... Is, she was his not manager. Your place. Yeah. And some things aren't your place. I think the things that she was saying to Chrissy, she was out of line. But if I'm telling you, hey, don't buy that because... Your bills is backed up. Mm -hmm. As your manager, or even as a friend, you should want me to tell you that. Right. You know what I mean? Now, the stuff that she was saying to Chrissy is a little bit different. Oh, he bought you to do that? Now, know your place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and stay in it. That I, That's I, I she, understand. That's because she was too Chris. comfortable yeah, being with right. and think she could say that right. to her. And I understand Chrissy's position on that. Mm -hmm. But I, like you said, I understand Yandy's too because if I'm managing you and I know that you ain't bringing in that much money. Right. So why you buying this? Don't overspend. Don't overspend, you know? And, <laughs> I mean, <it's, laughs> I would want somebody like her in my corner to tell me, like, listen now, mm -hmm. don't overspend. And a lot of these guys don't. And, and like she said, in that scene, well, this happened 10 years ago with this whole situation that began. So clearly... He hasn't had somebody like Yandy in his corner since to tell him yeah. because now they're in this whole... Yeah, we're going to get into that okay. a little bit later because yeah. that's episode two. We're going to get oh, there. Oh, yeah, we on episode one. We're going to get there. Yeah. So, Joe Button, Papoose, and, and Rich Dollars, and all of them was, you know, meeting up or whatever. Now, from what I remember, I just remember Papoose getting Joe together. Uh -huh. And I loved it. And I wish that more men thought like how... Papoose think, but we all know a lot of men don't think like that. And but if 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 you have a friend like Papoose, you don't let a friend like that go, cause he will check you when you're right, and he will check you. You know he'll let you know when you're wrong. And it was nothing really Joe can say. Joe tried everything to counter what he was saying, and it was nothing that he could you know nothing he could do and nothing he could say. What I'm just trying to figure out. Is why is Rich Dollar still on this show? <laughs> I couldn't figure out for the life of me who is he managing. Yes, <laughs> and why is he on this show? <laughs> I'm look at the ten ten years he is still around. Uh -huh. He must be that relevant to this show, cause I don't know what he's doing. Me neither. Like I, I I just he you know him and and uh, Safari, 
they had a little thing going on last year. They showed the clip. But I'm still like, <clears throat> I don't, excuse me. I don't get why he's on this show. The Safari and Erica, you know, I don't get why they on the show neither. But I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking this because everybody who's been a part of Love and Hip Hop is back on. And I remember Erica and the, being the wild, uh -huh. the wild card, the firecracker, and them taking her to the different shows and all of that. Uh -huh. But they just seem like they seem too lovey dovey. I don't really think they are in love like they say they are. He says she's the female version of me. But I've never seen Safari pop off like Erica. I, I, I just never seen that. So I was trying to figure out what he's talking about. Um, but then it just, when they were showing the clips of who Sin been with, I mean, not Sin, uh, Erica. Yeah. I'm just like, y'all all, this is all community. She's been with the whole fucking this show. This is community vagina. private parts. Because <laughs> she's been with the whole yes. show. Yes, she's been with so the whole. So y'all all just doing each other and screwing each other. And they got to nose to hold her nose up in the air as if, <laughs> like, girl, how dare you? I still girl. think it's a. I still think Erica knows what she's doing by getting pregnant by Safari. Yeah, she knows she's, that he's going. She, she knows, knows that he's bringing the Yeah, he's bringing in money. Yeah, and, and that money that he uh -huh. made with Nicki Minaj. Uh -huh. Yes, come on. She ain't I'm stupid. I'm sure he get a, he get a check yeah. from that too. She ain't stupid. Yeah, and. We'll get into them a little bit later. Now, who's this? This Remy Ma situation. All right, a little bit later. So. Yeah, because we gotta. Because you know we gotta. So Remy is back. Joe, I mean, so Remy's just off probation. She had her party, but we didn't really get a chance to see her party like that. It's, it's we see Remy basically trying to balance motherhood. Now we could get into her thing because she ain't really she ain't really play a part. My thing. I like I like what Joe Button not Joe Button I like what Fat Joe mm -hmm. was telling her. That was Joe Button not Joe. Damn it! That was Fat Joe being a brother to Remy, and he told her, "You are the best." Dot dot dot. When you're focused, mm -hmm. so when she's not focused, she's not her best. He's like, "You you talking about the label wants you to do this album, so you're trying to do an album." You doing a state of the culture show? You got the baby. He's like every time I see you, you got the baby. Like uh -huh. she's uh, DJ Khaled and the other baby. Uh -huh. And he's just like, you know, you got to get it together. You need balance, and she do need balance. I don't know if they're trying to keep the baby with her all times, but I'm sure you can hire a nanny right. or someone who can be with y'all while you doing what you what you doing. A nanny, yeah, a nanny. A nanny. You know, it's just. He he told her right. right, and nobody is and nobody is really checking on Remy. Right, nobody now that she's with Fat Joe, and that is the truth. And I feel bad because she's been out for a couple years now, and we haven't really seen the evolution of Remy. We've seen Remy go back and forth with Nicki Minaj, or you might see Remy in, in your city at a, a Pride event or something like that. But they're not really doing anything, and I hope that. She takes what Joe told her to heart mm -hmm. because he told her no lies. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't like one of the expressions when you were talking about the woman tied her hair and got the baby. Like, I was like, you ain't got to do all that. We know black women sacrifice, and they do a lot to get things done, but I just didn't like him saying that. Well, but it was that. the Africans, but he was yeah. right, though. Yeah. If you're going to work, but the Africans and the Koreans, they will go to work with their babies tied up on their backs. So mm -hmm. I don't think what he said was wrong. It's the truth. You yeah. see it all the time. Uh -huh. You see it all the time. So you have, to, and, and again, like you said, he's telling her the truth. I just feel like, girl, <laughs> <laughs> now your husband said that he stopped his career to help you with your, but, but what, what career is, did he I, have? Listen, I don't have, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> Maybe Listen, they need to do a joint album or something. You know, he, they don't really need a nanny. He's there. Right. Well, you, you know, you're right. So, I mean, come on. Like, it just didn't, it doesn't make any sense. And then if you're, contra if you are, you have a contract to put out another album, then that should be your focus. But you talking about, yeah, because the baby and I just want to be, girl, the baby is fine. Yeah, and y'all should put that all this before Get in that studio day. and make that album. Right. Make that album. You know what I mean? You can't be saying on one hand, oh, I want to put out an album. It's top because I feel like, and I said this as I was watching it last night. I said, if I hear them say one more time that it's time to put out an album. Yeah. Stop, put out, yeah, say, how many times are they going to say that? Everybody always <laughs> said, the only one that was serious about an Cardi album B. is Cardi. Because you ain't never seen her back. 
You know, she had one season or two, I don't know, and that was it. <laughs> Cardi said, bitch. Yes, and, that and that's that. how I be wanting it to be for these right. people. Like, Cardi took it serious. And, you know, I, I want that for Remy. I want Remy to not have to come back to Love and Hip Hop. Maybe if it's to help somebody on the show. But I don't think this this is not really. This, I mean, it keeps a check coming. Yeah, it does. But other than that, this ain't really for her. This ain't really for her because she ain't getting messy. I don't know. And um, she needs yeah. a check yeah. to come in. Yeah. A check for that, a check for these shows. She She's all parole now, so she can do whatever she wants. But she need a babysitter. And, like, I don't know. I think her and Pat maybe should do a joint album. But she needs some fire. She needs some fire producers. She just need everything. She like, and it's no problem with me writing a bar. But you know what, Remy? It's not about just a bar. Mm -hmm. You got to write songs that you know people won't enjoy and dance to and want to buy or stream. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not saying take a little bit from Cardi, but <coughs> take, take a look at sample. Take a sample of what's going on with females and rap today. And then put your own Remy twist on it. That's the only way it's going to work because nobody checking for bars. Everybody said they got bars. But are you are you having fun with it? Have some fun with it. I don't want you to be so serious. Have a little have a little take a little time to enjoy the view and rap about it. Mm. You know, yeah. <laughs> enjoy that, um, Remy. So that's what we got on Remy, Remy and Pat. They done. They done for this. Rich dollars. I'm done. You and Safari, y'all made up. I'm done with y'all. Jim Jones losing this house. Chrissy had every right to get upset, but he did, he did not care. He ain't getting no fucks about what happened. No. She's in the gym. You lucky you in L.A. I wish I could slap you through FaceTime, all this and that. I'm like, well, what's going on? But Jim Jones didn't really do anything. You know? I don't know about <coughs> anything. Bless you. And she's like, listen, you're making me look bad. I can't be out here teaching people about foreclosure and their homes and my damn yeah. and investment. My, no investment. Yeah. Investment in homes. And I can't even get my own home together. Mm -hmm. You know, it was the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. I felt bad for her. I mean, but really, are we? Come on. And I'm not. This is no shade to Jim Jones. Right. But looking at Jim Jones, are we really just? going to believe that she honestly thought that he was going to handle stuff financially with their no, house. No, I think she knew what was going on, yeah. but she this is all for sure. Yeah, cuz cuz she but she ain't she ain't do enough to even to He was so lackadaisical on that FaceTime call like yeah, well, he was always uh, dying. He just always be a bath and you know, I don't, <laughs> That's how I always look. Never. Mm -mm. Really? Mm-mm. 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 Can you imagine? Yeah, uh, I can. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> he can stay with Chris. He ain't taking care of nothing. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so the guy that I seen Chrissy with on the show. What with, about Jonathan? No, because that's, <laughs> child, I don't got time for all that extra stuff. Any messy. Yeah, I better record you and post it. Yeah, <laughs> he's real messy. Yes, so so I, the guy, the guy, I see him on a couple of Instagram pages, so I knew he was from Philly right away, and he was telling her, you know, you got to do this, you got to do that. So hopefully, you know, they got their situation together. I don't know how it is now, but in the meantime, it's Jonathan, Yandy, Cambella. Mm -hmm. And what's the girl? What's her name? Ju Ju Juju. Ju. Mm -hmm. They all meeting outside, and I was like, "Damn, it looked like it's raining." Then the sun was back out. I, I don't know how long they sat there and shot that scene. Wait, yeah, what? This was yeah. This is episode two when Yandy. No, it wasn't Juju. It was Sen. 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 Okay, Sen. But Juju was at one of the parties. She was at the the, the, the Remy's party. Yeah, she was she at Remy's there. party. Because yeah. remember when Cambella came, got up and left, she said, and Sen, I'm cool with you. Yeah. <laughs> but these two... No. Right, okay. right. That was just a whole messy scene. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, I'm I'm okay. I'm okay with Yandy being upset. Because Yandy, Yandy's whole thing is, Cambella, how y'all just friends again? Like, she done beat you down. But people, friends fight. But I don't know about beatdowns and still being friends. Yeah. So I can understand. But, like, why you ain't telling her that y'all was, you know, getting back together? You just showed up with her at the party. 
And but then why would she tell her that? Can Bella said out her own mouth. Her and Yandy ain't friends. Her ain't. That's yeah, I forgot said. about that. So why am but, I telling you? But y'all still meeting up. Y'all got mutuals. That's true too. But she said that we're meeting up for the with the kids. We're not meeting up with their friends. But see, I kind of felt like that was a little shady because Yandy was under the impression, well, we meet up with our kids. I'm thinking we all cool. cool and Kimbella yeah. was like, no, I'm just meeting up with the kids. I'm not your friend. But Kimbella, I feel like that should have been made clear. And if I'm not friends with you, I'm not meeting up with no kids. Yeah. I'll send somebody else to take the kids, <laughs> but I'm not meeting up with them. Like, I think it's nice that she, uh, I think it's nice that she did that, but that she's meeting up with the kids. Um, but, yeah, you, you have to make that clear. You can't yeah. just say I'm only meeting up because of this, that, like that. No. It just seemed like all y'all did was just meet that one time and then now all of a sudden we cool. I th I would think that it takes some time to just be, to even be friends like that right away. Yeah. Because what happened at the table, you know, they got to talking about what happened and they start that I'm not your friend type of stuff. They did that. But then also, um, Jonathan just was like, no, Yandy just, what's her name? The like, Kimbella was like, well, if somebody says something about you, I wouldn't let nobody, I mean, I wouldn't let nobody talk about her or all mm -hmm. this and that. Yeah. You know, everybody just, oh, I'm going to defend my friend. And But Jonathan, you are the one that's on the fence because now you're friends with everybody, mm -hmm. but you're being messy because you're not defending everybody. You won't be mm -hmm and laughing. Right. You kind of like where Cynthia is at on the Real Housewives mm -hmm. of Atlanta back in the day. Mm -hmm. You know, you blow whatever way the wind blow, that's where you're going to be at. And you're not going to, you're not going to, it's, it's certain people you care for more than others. So we found out that, that Jonathan and uh, Chrissy is friends or whatever. I'm like, I don't know how long that's going to last. Right. I don't even know how that even works. But, I mean, he was the makeup artist and all that, so... Chrissy couldn't even remember how she met him. She said, I met him at a department store. Oh, no, maybe he was doing makeup. She didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this all probably made up for TV. Oh, man, she said, yeah, I met him at the department. Wait, I know, he was doing makeup. She don't know. So... That's not really her friend. <laughs> so, Yandy pulls out this article from, you know, one of the little gossip websites about Jim Jones and them losing this house. Now, I wonder if it's the house that they're living in. Yeah, it's that New Jersey house. Yeah, because they've been living in that house for, for a long, long time. time. She yeah. said 13 years mm -hmm. or so. So, at this point, Kimbella is offended. I mean, Kimbella <laughs> is upset. Right. I'm like, girl, like you doing all of this because you knew what a Chrissy ass whooping felt like. And you ain't trying to feel that again. Having this conversation about the house. I don't think it's that, though. I don't, I'm not she, interpreting that. I'm interpreting... We are now building a friendship, Chrissy mm -hmm. and I. So mm -hmm. if I'm building a friendship with her, why would I sit there and entertain this gossip? And then I was just at a meeting with Chrissy and you, Jonathan, and you were all, oh, I'm Chrissy's friend, Chrissy's friend, but now you're entertaining this. Yeah. I don't think it's that she knows what to ask for. Like. It's just that if I'm now building, if me and her have made up and we're now building this friendship, why would I now sit here and entertain this gossip? And then you, John, of all people, you were just talking about how long you've known Chrissy and how... Because remember, Kim Bella was like, I didn't even know y'all knew each other. Right. Like, yeah, that's the storyline right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's how you know they didn't know each other. Because Kim Bella said, I didn't even know you knew them. So, yeah. I mean, but it is messy. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad Kim Bella said something because it's like, come on, Yandy, like, cut it out. Like, yeah, I'm just like, you're just you after. Them. And no wonder why don't nobody want to be cool with you, Yandy, because you're just messy. But just because I'm cool with you just right away, if I found out some TV, I want to know what's going on. Yeah, but I don't want to get mad like that. I, I, think, I think some of that was for the cameras. I, like, not for the cameras, mm -hmm. but because, you know, she didn't want to get in, back into it again with mm -hmm. Chrissy. I, I really feel that way. And I don't trust Jonathan. I don't trust Because I can see him sitting there and then going back and tell Chrissy, oh yeah, because right. Andy brought it up and Kimbella mm -hmm. was sitting there laughing and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what a yeah. messy queen would yeah. do. Yeah, so I mean, Kimbella did the right thing. Yeah, yeah I'm going to get mad mm -hmm. and now I'm going to go back and tell Chrissy yeah, that you can't when help. she brought it up and y'all all said that y'all don't like nobody talking about <laughs> each other. John, then what did you do? <laughs> right. You sat there right. and you got into an argument about how tight her pants were or some shit. Who, to Kimbella? Yeah. First she told she looked nice when she came. Right. Then when she was leaving, yeah, you got that spandex on. Well, which what is it? Do she look like? I couldn't believe this. You know? Now, the one who we didn't really talk about is Joe Button and Sin. 
Now, look, they whole situation, we are, Mikhail just told me, yeah, they posted them on the shade room, they were all sitting together watching the show. Mm -hmm. So now I'm mad, like, I don't even want to get them the time of day. <laughs> but, you know, Sam got a right to feel the way she feel. Y'all got a child together, y'all need to work things out. But Joe is immature. Yeah. He is so immature. I always I, bring up when we saw him in L.A. When we, when right, was he? Yes! Don't say what, what was going on, because I don't want to start no old I hope I ain't break my controller. I don't want to start no old shit. Okay. But yeah, he just That was like 10 years ago, yeah. yeah. But you ain't know who she was, but I did. <laughs> I knew exactly who she was. And oh. to this day, I cannot remember it. But if I see her face, I know exactly who she is. Your mm -hmm. eye is red. What's the matter? This eye. Don't touch it. I don't know. Don't touch your eye with your fingers, because I know you can wash your hands. No. But it's red. So you may need to put some eye drops in it. I hope I don't have no pink eye. I, I, I can't. Either. I can't. Especially not me sitting next to you. Yeah. I'm gonna get some Visine and get the red out. But yeah, yeah, he's a Joe's a mess, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's a mess that he she she felt that stuff, and he gonna say, "Well, we weren't cheating." But you shouldn't have nothing like that in your phone. Yeah. And when Papoose said, he said something like, "If she would have known what kind of person you was, or something," she said she wouldn't even have to. Try to figure out who you were. Whatever you said, it was on point. I can't remember, but I loved that. That was that was when he got Joe, and Joe really couldn't say nothing. Mm -hmm. It was just over. It was over right there. Just over right there. Now, the 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 scene with uh, Joe and what was it? Joe and what's her name? The girl that came back to Harry. Mm -hmm. I was trying to figure out what they're trying to do with this. Like, and that's another friendship. Because yeah. Pippa Joe came in the house and said, well, dang, I didn't know each other. I didn't know uh, Eric and Terry knew each other. Why is yeah. everybody friends and don't nobody know that they're friends? Yeah. I mean, look, <laughs> nobody told Mona Joe. Mona wrote the perfect yeah. script because I'm watching it and we're talking about it. Okay. <laughs> Cause no, Joe walked in that house and nobody gave him a cue card and said no. They were friends. He walked this way. I know your old friends. She said, "What, Joe? We've been friends forever. No, y'all haven't. Mm -hmm. No, y'all haven't. This is this is season ten, baby. Yeah. No, y'all haven't. <laughs> nobody knew this. It's season ten. So <clears throat> y'all met up one time. Yeah. So so they all now who was the who was the girl that put the bug in? Um, what's her name? So, Erica's ear about getting this prenup. Now. With, with, about this prenup thing, I kept thinking to myself, "But who was she talking to about that?" Somebody, I don't hey. know. I think was it was it Tahiri? I don't know. Somebody, I can't remember either. But she was talking about it with them, and they told you. Yeah, she did. they told her she should get the prenup. Maybe it was Tahiri. But I don't know. Somebody, like, somebody told her. Well, I'm like, what do she have <laughs> that he's going to want? Yes. <laughs> And that's no shade to Erica if she see this. And to be honest with you, I can't really see Safari going after her for this. No, for no. nothing. <laughs> right. Because he probably so, tell her I can more than you. Yeah. So what is she trying to lock down? Right. So they meet up with this manager or this If lawyer. anything, she should probably not get picked up so she can get him for her. Everything. she knows he's going to cheat on her. Yeah. She know. <laughs> yeah, because my assets. <laughs> and all assets. <laughs> Only asses is a body. Yes, you what know? asses do you have? <laughs> <laughs> These people are a joke, but I'm, 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 I'm feeling it though. I, I'm, I'm ready to talk about next week's episode already. That's a big joke. She said, yeah, because I'm trying to protect my assets. Because, I, you know, if anything, if he cheat on me, and I'm looking at the camera like, am I watching the same So stuff? she must want, like, if he do this, then he going to give me this amount of money. And now they got the baby. I don't know how they're going to divide that because we let's, we need to talk like they're going to break up because they're not. It, it, are they even? Are they? Are, aren't they already married? Yeah, they already got married. Okay, so now I'm like, all right, what happened? Like I don't, I don't know, but I feel like maybe if he make a certain amount, he'll or he'll give her a certain amount if they break up. But I can't see him. You're not. You're not. You're not bringing to the table more than he's bringing to the table. No. And that's the problem. No. He's, when, she's definitely not. And I know, think anybody can see knows that Safari is bringing a little bit more money in her. And he, her, and her. he yeah, you know he turned down that deal. What that deal? um that deal where they was gonna do the little toy thing for him. You oh. know. He turned that down. But I'm like, but I don't really see I don't really see Safari out doing a lot of stuff neither, but I know that... Well, if he turned in a deal like that, he must have got a couple of dollars. Because something like that, I wouldn't have turned down. Because, to be honest with you, 
they're they're molding your penis mm -hmm. to have sex toys. Right. You know how much money you can make off of that? A lot of money. Yes. So for right. him to turn that down, and I can't really see him turn it down because oh no, I'm thinking of. Uh, my image. No, you're not. Because <laughs> when you posted that picture, <laughs> you didn't think about it. You didn't think about that. No. You being on this goddamn show, you didn't yeah. think about it. You want more either. people to yeah. see it. So, you want more people to see that image. Image, yeah. Because I was. That's watching. Jason Derulo. Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, he saw his thing. <laughs> Everybody was saying that. No, I thought. Oh. Act, act Jason Derulo like oh. they were together. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. I missed that. No, no. No. Oh, no. Oh wow. <laughs> no. So yeah, I don't I don't know, but listen. Wow. I um uh, I'm just looking forward to the next week. Now I I ain't care nothing about when you safari? I would be a whole mess. Yes. To the dress. <laughs> you would and the, keep my dress because look. But you would be the one that uh he cheated on Here's Erica. the proof he right cheated, here. He cheated on with Erica. Uh, no, I wouldn't. No, mm -hmm. yeah, no. I, I would not because he married. You know. Yeah, do you know? know a joke? <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean we know that joke, but I wouldn't. Do you know? I got accused one time. This is recently. I got accused of trying to break up somebody's relationship. Oh, you didn't tell me that. And, oh, no. you know. Oh, no. Oh, you didn't know how to tell you me that. You know, I defended myself. Very well. <laughs> don't come But you didn't want to tell me that. No, but I told everybody. I see everybody on Twitter said, see, you're not on Twitter. Yeah, I Because they tweeted me. They're like, where you live at? I said, look. They I tweeted you that? Yes. And I gave them. Yeah, I want you to do something. Because your is, eyes is it really, really, really red. Yes. Yes. It's not in pain or anything. Well, it's but it, you might just need um, eye drops. I hope I don't have no pain. No, because pink eye, your eye would hurt. No, it wouldn't hurt. It would just be pussing up. Because mine didn't hurt when I had two pink eyes. It just would be pussy and crusty. Mm. I mean, but it could be pink eye too, but you need to um, eye drops because that's bothering me. But go ahead. <laughs> just don't keep trying to look at me. <laughs> so, so, no, that just is like, um, first of all, they're they, they they talking like they Twitter. knew me. Yes. And I'm like, okay. So then I looked at my D. No, for this is where I live. I said, this is where I live at. You know, this is where to find me. So then I see the DM of the DM I sent the person earlier. Yeah. Like, cause, yeah, because we haven't yeah. talked in a long time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, one time I seen somebody had retweeted something. I was like, oh, I wonder how he's doing. So I followed him, mm -hmm. and he followed me back. And then I waited like a couple of days and was like, you know, we should catch up. And I right. gave him my number. So maybe like a week or so later, he texts me. And he already let me know that he had a boyfriend. Right. And I was okay with that because right. I'm not. Right. We just talking and catching up. Right. So the boyfriend, you wrong, and I know you. First of all, I don't know you. But then I realized that at one point, we hung out one time you in and the Atlanta. boyfriend. Yeah, like we all was just together. It was a but group I of people. Yeah, yeah but right. you, right. If, I, if, you, if we were cool, I would know exactly right. who you were. You were just somebody that was there at the hangout. Right. So I'm just like, wow. So I, so I sent him a screen cap of everything that was in that message. Um, in that message. Because I ain't got nothing to hide. Right. You know, and I was like, because I don't play that shit. I, right. I really believe in karma, so I don't play that. So then, you know, I, I let him know, you know, like, you owe me an apology. Like, mm -hmm. you really owe me an apology for you to even try to discredit my character like that. Mm -hmm. And I said, if I was really, really messy, I would save these screenshots and I could sue you for defamation for even trying to put me out here like that. Like, don't do that to me. Don't, don't play with me like that. So I don't believe in that stuff. If you know that somebody is in a relationship, you won't be going behind nobody back and doing that. But people do it all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I don't but I believe in karma. I believe in karma. I have only I only had to learn that one time when I cheated on somebody. Mm. And, and and it just changed the whole that flow is, of everything. Yeah. So you only gotta learn one time. And I would never do it and I would never do that to somebody in a relationship. No. But I ain't like that, you know. Now I might say what I might do to someone, and I'm not talking about them, you know, mm -hmm. what, we, what, we, what we talk about on our show. Right. But yeah, I like would. Like what you would do with Obama. Right, but I wouldn't, because mm -hmm. no. You wouldn't. You're trying it. <laughs> but no, what no. If Michelle wasn't in the picture. No. You are a liar. <laughs> you are a fucking liar. Like, no. Rich Dallas. No, 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 no. Joe Biden. He can't be he's so. He's like he the cleanest version of uh, Jim so. Jones. Right, right. But he's still, he, he probably would pick a fight. He'd probably pick a fight. Well, both of y'all would pick he a fight. Both of y'all get drunk together and have a good time. 
<laughs> well, let's no, stop. Let's stop this. Cause I'm only well, one more guy. One more guy. No. Pepus. No, but he looked like he he looked like him and Remy looked like they had some rough times. Like fun, <laughs> fun, rough but fun. You know. <laughs> Tell you that, Remy. Mm. My up. Uh, <laughs> Would you go have tear that? No, no, that, no, we're not having that. That Kevin Ma up. <laughs> <laughs> he is a mess. <laughs> we're here to talk about another hip hop. We are. Would you let that food? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Would you let like scrap? Hell, your yes, body. Yes, you Both of me. Because you're a scrappy. And I'm not talking about that Daily Own one. Because that's another no, one. Scrappy one. Daily that's one. another one that I need a bad. But well, I'm talking about. Scrappy, the original Scrappy. The only original Scrappy I know is Scrappy Doo. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't what your arm was supposed to say. Your arm was around to say that. <laughs> You're talking that picture and you know, Scrappy Doo. <laughs> Scrappy Doo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scrappy Doo. 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 That whole night was a mess. Me and Stevie J cussed. Yeah, me and Stevie J going back and forth. <laughs> about Jasper winning the, the Oscar. Oscar. Somebody Wait, see about somebody said about me. About like, do you Oscar. see, like, do you really think that Jasper could win a Grammy? An <laughs> uh, Oscar, not no, a Grammy. No, he said, he, he said. She, she could win all of them. Yeah, he said she could win an Oscar. <laughs> yeah, for her <laughs> acting on yeah. the show. <laughs> I think she got that. Do you really now, think she, she ever came back? <laughs> yeah, but see, uh, that's a, <laughs> see, we're going to be talking about love hip hop all winter because Jocelyn is going to Miami and she's going to tear it up. And is she coming back? Yeah, she's going to tear it up. You ain't seen her come out? No. Yes. She said, oh, baby, I'm back or some shit. She's going to be on love and hip hop Miami. January the sixth, I believe. I will never forget. I will be watching when she first the, the first season with her. And remember, a lot of people thought she was a man. Right, right, right. Remember that. Mm hmm But she confirmed that her and Stevie J they do all kinds of dirty sex. She said, Oh yeah, she loves every sex. Yeah. I said, okay. okay. And you know what she said about every sex, man, female. She was talking about all of that. They they got down and dirty. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So yeah, y'all. That's our thoughts of love and hip hop. And I think he misses her too because she's. But he's with Faith. Yeah. He misses that dirty sex. Yeah, he misses that dirty sex. Not saying that Faith ain't giving him the dirty sex, but it ain't nothing like dirty sex with Jocelyn. <laughs> Hernandez, baby. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to go, y'all. We will be, we'll be back next week with a new video, but don't forget on Friday morning, our new podcast will be up. All the stuff that's going on, like the girl that done fake to missing. Um, yeah, the, that's the best. You know, <laughs> that. We were talking about that. Uh, what's that thing you were talking about? You told me I better have one of the things. Was it J.R. Smith? Yeah. His wife, Pref. We're going to talk about all of that on the podcast. So make sure y'all listen Friday morning. It'll be up. And if you got Spotify, it'll be on Spotify, iTunes, uh, iHeartRadio, wherever you listen to. Podcast, we will be there except for y'all know we're not on SoundCloud, but everywhere else that's where we're at. So, we're gonna go. Y'all have a great weekend. Be safe out there doing that Christmas shopping. Keep your stuff close to you, that's right, and keep your eye out. <coughs> and if you know you got a delivery coming, be home, yeah, be home for it. Uh -huh. All right, we gotta go. Yeah.